In this tutorial video we're going to have a look at putting into practice the factor theorem and polynomial division. So we're going to do it in the context of an exam question. So first of all notice that the question says in this question you should show detailed reasoning or full working. So what that means is any of the helpful functions that you've grown accustomed to on your calculator such as the quadratic solver or the cubic solver it's not enough just to use those to get all the marks. What we need to do is write down all the work and to back up the process that the calculator performs. So for example, if we use the quadratic solver, we've got to use the quadratic formula on paper or factorize or do something to show that we know how to solve quadratics without a calculator. So it's almost pretending that we're not using a calculator, even though we actually are. So let's have a look at the question. So it says the cubic polynomial f of x is defined by f of x equals 4x cubed plus 4x squared plus 7x take 5. Show that 2x minus 1 is a factor. So what we're going to do, we're going to use the factor theorem to show that it's a factor. It's not necessary to use the full polynomial division algorithm. The factor theorem is a much quicker way. So to find out what we need to sub in, take the factor, 2x minus 1, set it equal to 0, then solve it. So 2x equals 1, x equals a half. There we go, that's what we need to sub in to show that it's a factor. So f of a half equals 4 1 half cubed plus 4 lots of 1 half squared plus 7 lots of a half take 5 if we put that in the calculator but a quicker way of doing it is typing in a half the thing we're subbing in then pressing equals so now that's saved in the answer button so if I do 4 answer cubed what it does, it saves me writing brackets and fractions plus 4 answer squared plus 7 answer minus 5 equals 0 then conclude therefore by factor theorem 2x minus 1 is a factor the conclusion is important Okay, part two. Hence, solve the equation 4x cubed plus 4x squared plus 7x minus 5 equals 0. So again, it's not enough just to use the cubic solver. What we're going to have to do is factorise. We've got one factor, 2x minus 1. And what we're going to have to do is try and find out the other factor using polynomial division. So there's a way of speeding polynomial division up. I'm just going to write out what I'm trying to multiply it to above so I'm trying to multiply it to get 4x cubed plus 4x squared plus 7x minus 5 so this is what I'm multiplying by I'm multiplying 2x minus 1 by whatever I'm going to put in this bracket to get that answer there well notice I need 4x cubed so if I put 2x squared there 2x times 2x squared is 4x cubed so we've got that I'll put a tick there however an unwanted consequence of that is that I've got now got minus 2x squared so when I multiply this bracket out so I've got minus 2x squared but I actually need 4x squared so to balance that I need to add on 6x squared to get my 4x squared so to get me 6x squared if I put 3x there that gives me 6x squared 2x times 3x is 6x squared so adding that on I get what I need my total of 4x squared altogether However, an unwanted consequence of writing the 3x there was that now I've got minus 1 times 3x, I've got minus 3x's. Well, actually, I need 7x's. So if I add on 10x's, I get my 7x's. So I need to find 10x's somehow. Well, if I put plus 5 there, 2x times 5 is 10x. There I've got it. The 10x's I need to make 7x. Then finally, an unwanted consequence of that was minus 1 times 5, which is minus 5. However, I need minus 5, so we're done. We're fully factorised. So now we know that 4x cubed plus 4x squared plus 7x minus 5 is 2x minus 1 times this quadratic part. So this here is what we now need to solve in order to get the other solutions. So if we try and solve it, we use the quadratic solver just to see if there's any solutions before we show full working. So polynomial degree 2, 2x squared plus 3x plus 5. 
And notice here that the solutions involve i's, imaginary numbers. That means there's no real solution to this quadratic part. So the best way to show that on paper is saying a equals 2 using the discriminant b equals 3, c equals 5. Which means that b squared minus 4ac equals 3 squared minus 4ac which is equal to, so 3 squared minus 4, 3 squared minus 4 times 2 times 5, which is equal to minus 31, which is less than 0. It's always important to compare the discriminant to 0 when we're trying to show how many roots in a quadratic equation has. Therefore, quadratic part has no real roots therefore only root of cubic as a whole is x equals one half so there we're done so for more videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit alevelmathsrevision.com.